So like I'm literally just in my kitchen and I really want to know how people manage to just stay strong every day for their kids. Like I am struggling. I am mentally struggling. Just being a single mom and having to do everything on my own. Like it's draining. It's so emotionally draining that I try to find the strength every day, but I just don't have it anymore in me. So yeah, let me know how you guys manage to keep it together every day. Cause I have no support. No support. Everybody that told me, oh, they're gonna be there for me and my kid, this and that. When is the time for y'all to show up? Y'all leave. And that's what got me up because why? Like I'm genuinely not that type of person to people, but I just can never catch a break and I'm over it. I really do think that there are a lot of lessons that can be learned from these videos. And that's why I'm going to bring more of them to everyone. This woman said, first of all, she looks too young. She's, she barely looks like she's freaking 20 years old, too young to be struggling this bad, to have this type of outlook on life, to be going through all this or what she's going through. Now, that's not me making excuses, child. These are the choices that you chose. And here you are with your just rewards. Why is it that there is an expectation that everyone else is supposed to help you? I don't know who these people are. Maybe it's her mama. Maybe it's her aunties. Maybe it's her cousins. Maybe it's her friends. That doesn't work. Let me let me let y'all know how this works. As a person who had a whole husband, a whole family, a whole everything, and a kid and didn't know what to do with one, I did have help. Thank God I did have help. But as far as friends are concerned, if they ain't got no kids, they ain't going to be around. Let me tell you that right up front from the start, period, point blank. If they ain't got no kids, they ain't going to help you. It's all nice and cute in the beginning when it's a baby and they're so cute and they just sleep. Then they start crying. You don't know what they want. They start growing up. They start running off at the mouth and they won't keep still. People ain't got time for that especially people who don't want kids. They don't want to be bothered with your kid. They're not going to necessarily watch them. They don't want to change them. They don't want to do none of that. That's not what they signed up for. So outside of basically your mama, typically someone older than you, they're not going to be there. Trust me when I tell you, they're going to be going out to the club. They're going to be going to find that next man. They're going to be going on vacation and you're going to be here. So stop with the thinking that all these people are going to help you. They not. If it ain't your mama, it ain't your baby daddy, or if it's not your baby daddy's mama, the odds are they not going to help you, period. Because guess what? No one cares. No one else cares about you, your choices, your decisions, and your kids. I'm not going to say they don't care. They don't love you or anything like that, but they not going to be giving up their lives for you. It is when you have a child, that's your number one responsibility. That's what it's supposed to be anyway. That means that your needs go and their needs come. So when people come over and they be like, oh, and they don't pay you no attention, that's typically how it goes. So if you're an attention seeker, then I'm thinking you probably shouldn't be having no damn kids. But that's just me, child. Anyway, I'm going to read the comments in here because they're interesting. I'll say that. I mean, before I start, everybody has moments. I've had moments and, and I had plenty of help and I still had moments. Being a mother is not an easy task. So anyone telling you that is full of sugar, honey, ice, and F and T. If you are not willing to put your child's needs before your own, please don't do it. Please don't do it. And I see too many people of this current generation that's doing that. I can see it all in your daggone videos. I wasn't born yesterday. I know what's going on. Child, y'all too busy being on Kendra Dad going G trying to find the next D and you ain't even think about them damn kids hollering outside the damn bathroom because you try and get a moment over here trying to, to drop them off whenever, wherever. So you can go to Miami and go on vacation and go to the Super Bowl and go here and go there. That don't sound like somebody that's putting somebody else's needs before yours. So if you can't put the, kid, the kid's needs before you, then why would some man think that you're going to put his needs before your kid? And I'm not saying that you should or you shouldn't. I'm not having that conversation. All I'm saying is, is that you're already showing who you are from that perspective. Can you get in a relationship? Of course you can. Don't be stupid. Listen to what I'm saying. The point is, is that when you sitting up on a Kendra G dating show, pop the damn balloon and all that mess, all that is about you. 
It's not about your kid. Social media don't care about your damn kid like you supposed to. Not near one bit. So if you can't even put yourself second to your kid, that's already showing your selfishness. You're already showing your selfishness. And if you think that just because you had a kid that, that's going to hold on to anyone, it's not. That don't mean a baby dad. That don't mean your friends, your family, or nothing. Kids are not easy. And after a while, they ain't cute. So people ain't got time. But to the comments, first one says, I've cried probably 20 times today. Get it out and keep going. Well, that's some good advice. We have to stop giving ourselves away, ladies. That's the best comment that I have seen in all these videos. Stop giving yourselves away. Ask yourself those questions. Figure out why you can't seem to have a relationship without getting pregnant. Because he said so, child, please. Ninjas lie. All in. Ninjas be lying. I don't know why y'all be thinking that you the one and that you want to give somebody a daggone kid. Ugh, anyway, cry when you got to cry. Keep it pushing. I'm struggling and I'm not even a single mom. Oh, Lord. I cry when my son goes to sleep and pray. God gives me my strength and my kids give me the drive every day. Ain't great, but it's 24 hours in a day. After having three kids, cries for help don't mean anything to anybody. Stay strong, mama. We have to stick together. There you go. She said it. Three kids in. Three kids in, child. It's hard. Don't have more kids. I leaned. I learned I only had one. Thank God somebody learned. Shout out to her. It's hard. You have to keep going. I am praying for you, sis. She needs family support or friends. You can make it, sis. I came to America legally and ended up in the shelter. No food, no clothes. Had to send my baby back to Jamaica. Now, that was a hard decision. So shout out to that lady to do what needed to be done instead of putting her kid through all that. And there's not a lot of selfless women. There's definitely not a lot of selfless women. They're selfish. And you can be mad all you want to. I don't care. The truth is the truth is the truth. Next one says, trust over time. It will get better. Most of the time I'm crying too, but nobody going to love my kids like I do. But I'm learning to let go and just try to trust God and lean on him. I lose it daily with my three boys, all under five. Lord have mercy. It's really hard mentally, but my kids deserve the best. So I breathe, cry, scream, and go back to being a mom. Yo, three kids under the age of five. I hope there's some twins in there, but that is half damn crazy. I don't know why you think that being a single mom is cute and cool. Stop looking at them damn people on damn internet. Stop listening to these damn F-less celebrities and stop thinking that just because one person, it looks glorified for them, doesn't mean it's going to be glorified for you. God forbid if your kid came here and had some sort of issue, some problem with them, that's a whole nother set of problems that people don't think of from the gate. Child, good luck to you though, girl, because I don't even know what else to tell you. If your mama ain't there or your granny, if you have one, you don't be looking for your friends that ain't got no kids because I'm telling you they ain't going to be there to help you too much so where you need it. But what the hell do I know? Child, that's it. That's all. Y'all make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you are new. Make sure you comment. I see you all in the next one.